Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm Welcome to Sweet Scoop Pregame, presented by Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Walla Walla and the farmers of the Walla Walla Sweet Onion. I'm here with brand new Sweets outfielder Daniel Fredrickson from Gonzaga, a.k.a. Freddie. Freddie, welcome to the ball club. Thanks. It's good to be here. How did you get linked up with the Sweets? Uh, well, so I got injured um, late in the season in school, and so that kind of threw off my entire summer plans. And then my coach started texting around, and, and uh, the Sweets contacted him and said yeah we'd love to have him so here i am yeah could definitely use some more lefty bats so very glad we can throw you right there into the lineup so you mentioned you had a wrist injury a couple weeks before the end of the season finishing up your red shirt sophomore year at gonzaga where you were one of the team's starting outfielders um in just your second year of college ball what's your backstory before that i know you're a washington guy but tell us a little about where you're from and where you're going uh, so I went to high school in Bothell on the west side near Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I originally went to Washington State University. Okay. Um, and then a couple things didn't work out there and yeah. uh, got in contact with Gonzaga and moved there. And it turned out to be a really good move for me. And next year I was in the lineup. It was just, you know, it turned out to be a great season. Yeah, I definitely say it's working out. I mean, you hit over 300 last year, really opened some eyes. So describe yourself as a player. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are you going to bring to this ball club? Uh, so, I'm not, I mean, I'm not exactly a power hitter. I, I okay. tend to hit for average, um, and I tend to use the opposite way um, quite a bit. Um, so I'll be hitting a lot to left field, hopefully at least. Um, and from the outfield perspective, I – I mean, I'm not a liability out there. I mean, I'm, I don't have blinding speed, but I, I can I can get around out there fine. Great. Well, you'll be batting seventh tonight, playing left field. You mentioned that you have an opposite field type of hitting approach. Is that something you consciously try to do, or is that just your natural swing? Um, it's just something that I've worked on to kind of stay back on pitches and see it as far in as I can. Um, and just naturally, that's the way my swing works. Um, throughout my life so that's what I've stuck with it's worked this far so so you're joining the team or five days away from the all-star break right so I think we're about 32 33 games into the season at this point 21 give or take remaining in the schedule what's joining a team like at this point in the year some of the guys have been here since day one some guys have come in the middle of the season but it's been a few weeks since the Swedes have added any new players yeah, I mean, it's always weird to join a team in the middle of anything, really. I mean, I joined Gonzaga in the middle of the school year, and, and that was kind of different for me. So, I, I mean, I'm not in unfamiliar territory, but in a way, it is kind of strange coming in, just trying to make good first impressions, trying to, you know, get to know what everyone everything's like here and just try to fit in as best as I can. Do you think it might be easier joining a team midseason in a game like baseball where, yeah, it's a team sport, but when you're batting, when you're in the field, you're making plays by yourself. It's sort of an individual sport inside a team sport, whereas basketball, soccer, football, hockey, these other sports are very much relying on the chemistry of the guys who are out on the field. Do you think maybe baseball is a little easier to jump in halfway? Yeah, I mean, obviously um, it might be easier than soccer where – um, you're going to know what your teammates doing yeah. uh, before you see them do it. Um, but also at the same time, you don't really know your role on a team until you're there. You see what other guys you have around you. Like, do you have a bunch of power hitters? Or are you going to be a small ball team? Yeah. Um, so we'll just see what happens, see if they want me to steal a bunch of bases. And if that's something that they want me to do, then just here to help out. Yeah, well, you'll be batting seventh. And we have a couple of guys, uh, the three all-stars, Hancock, Nyquist, and Suttleson. Those guys are sort of locked in, two, three, and four in the lineup. But everyone else moves around. You'll probably be at the bottom. You'll be at the top. You'll be in. You'll be out. You'll be platooning. As a lefty, you give the team an opportunity to do that. And in summer ball, I think a lot of people are asked to do things that are a little bit outside of their comfort zone. Do you embrace that challenge? Yeah, of course. I mean, again, at Gonzaga, I hit everywhere except for one, three, and four. So, <laughs> it, I mean, I'm, I'm not a stranger to moving around the lineup, doing doing whatever is needed to do that day um, on any on any given ga day against on any pitcher. It's just, it's just what they want me to do that day. So, Well, glad you're here, Freddie. It seems like you're going to add a lot to the team. And we've got the first of two tonight against the Port Angeles lefties. I'm glad you're showing up today with a short memory. The Swedes are 0-4 against the lefties this year, hoping – of course, to change that tonight after Port Angeles, Bend will come in for a three-game series over the weekend. That'll take us into the All-Star break. So, Freddie, hope this is the first of 
many uh, good conversations, the first of many wins for the Swedes. Of course, no problem.